And here we will see the starting second advantage. Leo will know what he has to beat, and he'll have to beat something good. Oh. No, the lockups on the T perm. That F2L and OLL okay. was amazing. And he locked up so much Ooh. going into that PLL transition, Ooh. but it's still a 553, and Leo is laughing at this scramble. What? What? No way! No way! A 403! A 403! Take a moment to inspect this scramble. How far can you plan? The cross? The first pair? How many pairs deep can you plan? Well, most top cubers will tell you that this scramble is so easy that you can actually plan the entire F2L in a very short amount of time. But for Timon and Leo, under the pressure of Monkey League Finals, maybe Timon having a bad day, Leo a bit distracted by the theatrics, they both failed to realize the full potential of this scramble during inspection, and both only planned the first three pairs, which do jump out, quite obviously, but when you see a good solution, keep looking. Let's start with cross, which will be a double X cross on yellow, making use of this green, red, yellow block, this green, red edge, this pre-solved orange and blue edge along with this corner, and these two final cross pieces. We're also going to try and preserve this third green and orange pair. So if you take a closer look, you'll actually notice that this pair right here is actually a pseudo pair because when we want to solve the cross here, what we're going to do is set up these two relative to these two like this. And now you can see they're all solved on the opposite centers. And we're going to want to solve. So you can see here that these are kind of solved like a pseudo solve where we've got the corner on the bottom and the edge on top. And they're just a D, this uh, bottom is just a D2 away from being in the correct position. So what we're going to want to do is put the edge that corresponds with this corner in and the corner that corresponds with this edge in. And luckily, they're both paired up like this. So when we put them in, it actually we get the mirror situation. And now you can see that when we do a D2, it solves both pairs. Now, this is the point which I personally a trace to an inspection and this is where you would plan the fourth pair because this third pair is very easy it's in the back of your mind you know that you're just going to do a d2 and an insertion uh, so at this point in your inspection you would want to notice that this uh, pair will end up here and that the further solution of the two pairs here and this third pair is not going to disrupt the position of this edge. So all we're going to have to track is this red-blue corner. And from this position, you can track that it will end up over here when you insert this pair into the back. And then in inspection, you could have planned with the relative position of these two, the final solution of the pair. And now at this point, you can actually cancel into OLL and PLL, uh, which would qu require quite some awareness and look ahead to see. Um, or you could just insert the pair and then go ahead with OLL PLL. I'll show the cancellation because it's quite uh, satisfying. So you can see we're canceling into T perm here. But of course, seeing that in inspection would be uh, superhuman and seeing that on the fly well, that would require some crazy focus and pattern recognition. But just to demonstrate how optimal the solution is, and, and at this point, now that you've seen the solution, maybe you can notice this pair here, uh, easy to track because you know it's only two moves to get it to where it ends up at the critical moment. And so maybe you can see how a scramble like this can easily be a three or even a two with optimal look ahead and recognition. Let's do an example.